Hey guys, it's Nikki, and today's Fright Night Friday, which means we're talking about something scary. Now, I'm not telling you about a haunting this time. I'm actually going to tell you about something a little scarier. This is my personal experience with the Mandela Effect. So, this has been talked about a ton in the past few weeks on YouTube, but I'm going to take it a step further. So if you guys don't know what the Mandela Effect is, let's have a quick history lesson. So it's basically named after this guy, Nelson Mandela, who was a guy who was in prison. So this guy in prison died, supposedly, years ago. But he actually didn't die until just recently. But everyone remembers him dying a long time ago. In prison. But he didn't die. So therefore, everything changes that's in the future is named the Mandela Effect after Nelson Mandela. About a year ago, I texted my friend and I said, something just changed. And she texted me back and said, what? And I said, something just changed. I knew something had changed. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know why. I didn't know how I knew, but something had changed. I couldn't figure out what it was until I started hearing about these Mandela effects. I'm going to start at the most well-known and get into the craziest ones, okay? And you tell me if you think things have changed. So the first one and the most well-known is the Berenstein or Berenstain Bears. So actually, uh, if you go back and like find a book and stuff of the Berenstein Bears, which everyone remembers Berenstein, it's actually written Berenstain. I personally remember it being Berenstein. I was a huge fan of this and it was all a lie. Next, we have Skechers. Do any of you guys remember how to spell Skechers? Because I used to have those Skechers. I had the little S on my shoes, and I, I knew how to spell Skechers with a T. Well, there's no T in Skechers. What color is chartreuse? I specifically remember it being like a brownish red color, like kind of like a wine color. This is chartreuse. This doesn't even look like a chartreuse. Like, if I named this fucking color, it would not be chartreuse. Are you kidding me right now? This is like limoni, like a lemon. I know we all know peanut butter, right? We loved peanut butter as kids. We put it on our waffles, put it on pancakes, put it on anything, put it on the walls. Jiffy peanut butter. No, there's only Jiff. Jiff was the only peanut butter and is the only peanut butter. I remember Jiffy. But there is no Jiffy. Snow White and the Magic Mirror. I don't know if you guys remember, but the evil witch goes, Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? And she expects it to say her. Well, it doesn't say mirror, mirror. Are you kidding me? It was always mirror, mirror on the wall. Every other language, like German, still says mirror, mirror. But the US version, the English version, says mirror, magic mirror. I'm confusing myself. So a lot of you know of Curious George. He's a monkey. Yeah, he's still a monkey, but he has no tail. I remember Curious George swinging off trees. I remember a Curious George stuffed animal with a tail. Yeah, Curious George has no tail. There is no photo with Curious George with a tail. All right, so this one I actually had to see for myself. I did not believe this was true. Febreze. How do you spell Febreze? And there are little Febreze commercials. It's like, Obviously, it's Febreze, right? F-E-B-R-E-E-Z-E, -E -E, right? No. It's actually Febreze. Febreze? When? I bought this, like, no, this is not right. I know this is wrong. This one messes me up more than anything because that doesn't even spell Febreze. It spells Febreze. Looney Tunes. All right, Looney Tunes is a show about characters or tunes that are crazy, right? So it makes sense that Looney Tunes would be spelled Looney, as in the crazy, and then Tunes, T-O-O-N-S, right? It's spelled Looney Tunes, like a fucking musical. So there's, it's not a musical. This isn't Looney Tunes, like crazy music. Who, who messed this up? All right, I get the other ones, like short misspellings or whatever, but are you serious? You changed the word Tunes, why? Why was this needed? Why would you do this? Looney Tunes. Crazy characters. Not crazy music. What the? This one is going to make me sound like an idiot, but how many states are in the USA? 
I remember there being 52 states. I specifically remember there being 52 states. And that seems completely insane. There is 50 states. But I remember there being 52. And you're probably like, okay, but how can there be 52? Well, I specifically remember District of Columbia and Puerto Rico are territories being states. And we have 52 stars on the flag, but there's only 50. Of course, everyone knows Forrest Gump, right? I watched it in every history class ever. Like, what did we learn in history? Who was the second president? I have no idea. Everyone remembers Forrest Gump going, my mama told me, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. But if you watch the movie now, it says life was like a box of chocolates. Life was like a box of chocolates. Are you serious? Was like? Why was it like? Why isn't it like? Life is like a box of chocolates makes sense. Life was like does not make sense. Sex in the city has become sex and the city. Are you kidding? With this logic, Josie and the Pussycats just became Josie in the Pussycats. This one really freaks me out. Everyone has seen photos of the Mona Lisa. She looks like this. Nah, bitch. She don't look like that anymore. She's smiling. She's got a like dirty little secret. She's like, look at this. Tell me that is not the creepiest thing you've ever seen. This shouldn't even be a famous painting anymore. Someone should have put the burn this. It looks like a freaking demon lives in it. With more time, more of these have come out, and it's not because more people are noticing, but because they're just changing. Here's one that was recently noticed by someone, and this is terrifying. Here is a map without South America. Now I want you to point on the screen, right now do it, I'm waiting. Point on the screen where South America is. Now, this is where South America is. And I'm pretty sure a bunch of you are wrong. Because South America moved to the right. There will be more to come. This is just the beginning of the Mandela Effect. They're slowly becoming bigger and more evident. And the next year or so, we're gonna see some big changes. And I'm not sure they're gonna be good changes. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, you should Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment of a Mandela effect I missed down below. And I will see you guys Monday. Bye! You're technically right because it's blue and pink, so I usually tell people purple. But I'll take that as a right answer. What state do I lead? And they were named Samantha and Frank. Samantha and Frank were seven years apart, I think it was like the 1800s, um, when they got married.